Do you know you can make shopping bags as side business or as full-time business? This is vital, which concept, improving your life, growing your business. Now, I went to a printer's shop and I got this glossy, beautiful, thick paper. This is the kind of paper you need for making shopping bags. The paper is actually very thick and glossy, beautiful. So the width of my bag is 14 inches. So I measure it out and with my pair of scissors, I cut it out from the, you know, from the thick paper, cut the one that I need. Okay, now this is 14 inches. All right, 14 inches width, okay? Now, the next thing I did is to brand the bag, okay? Print my brand on it. You can get my course, my video course on how to print your brand on your packaging, on, on your packaging material, okay? So you can get the course. It's very simple. It's something you can do. It's very simple. You visit our website to get the course, okay? Right now, I'm gonna take my piece, a pair of scissors and cut off any excess that I don't want. So I folded the paper into two, printed on it after printing, I make sure the, the both sides are equal. Then I open it again to start folding like one inch. You know, I'm folding the upper part of the bag now. I'm folding in one inch, you know, one inch. So make sure, consider your design when you're folding so that you don't go and fold the down part. Make sure you're folding the upper part of your, of your paper, of the paper, okay? So I fold it in now, just one inch is okay. Fold in the top. So after folding in the top, you also fold in the side, okay? Fold in one inch from the side. Now that will help us to close up the bag. Now with my fingers, I press very hard, making sure that everything is flat and smooth, okay? Now at this end, this tip, you have to be strategic in folding that tip so it will close up very well. All right, so after folding in the top and that one side, the next thing I'm gonna do, I cut off any excess that I don't want and then apply glue. The kind of glue I'm gonna use here is the glue that is used to hold plastics together or the glue that is used to hold metals together. You're not gonna use the glue used to hold paper. It will not hold. So is either you use the glue that is used to hold plastics together or the glue that is used to hold paper together but uh, sorry or the glue that is used to hold metal together but please do not use super glue don't use super glue here okay so i now press with my pair of scissors okay just to smoothen everything out and flatten everything because is it, the paper is quite thick so you need something hard that you can use to press it so i press with my pair of scissors to flatten everything to make it straight and to make it smooth okay all right now the next thing i'm gonna do now is to form the side you know i need to complete the formation of the side i will now shift the paper you know shift it like this the way i just shifted it right now to form the the side to complete the side okay now i have created pattern for the side i will rub with my pair of scissors press with my pair of scissors to create the line that pattern for the side okay i'm creating the pattern for the side now you can see the side one side the left side and the right side i have successfully created the pattern for the left side and the right side so you can use this as a business if you're looking for what to do our our bag is taking shape right now then I so the next thing is to form the center of the side. I've formed the center right now. You can see the way I'm folding it to form the center of the side. Then I'm pressing with my pair of scissors to make the line to show. Okay. All right. You can see the back, see the top, see the down, see the sides. Okay. You can see everything. So remember to consider your brand when you are folding so that you don't go and fold in a, in a wrong way. Okay. Now I want to form the base. So I fold in something like three inches. Okay. So I'm forming the base right now. That's three inches for the base. Now I fold this small triangle from, from this side, press it with my pair of scissors, fold small triangle again from the other side, press it with my pair of scissors to flatten it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to open it up. Yeah. I open it up and then create this pattern now, you know, to, for the base. Okay. You can see exactly what I'm doing. Then I'm going to fold that thing to be a little bit above the center of the base. Okay, you see the way I folded it now? The same thing repeats on the other side. I fold it to be a little bit above the center of the base. Okay, now I've created the pattern for my base. The next thing is to apply the glue. 
all right okay after pressing with my pair of scissors i will now apply glue on the base now you have to apply glue here generously so that the base can be you know tightly closed closed up so that if you put anything there it won't fall off okay so like my video share it wide okay i place this one on top of the other all right and press it with you know i'm apply the gum also to any opening side make sure everywhere is closed up okay yeah the next thing i press it with my with my hand i can even use paper to rub it so that you can rub very well and clean up anything any excess gum or glue okay then i put this metal look for strong metal put there to tighten it and hold it for like 30 minutes so that everything will gum up very well okay everything will glue up very well you can see our bag is taking shape already so i'm strengthening the lines of the sides now and the base with my fingers i'm strengthening everything wow so with this you can start up a business if you're looking for what to do why do don't you consider this you get my course on how to brand you put your brand on the on the on the product okay then you're learning how to make the bag now see the interior see the interior so what are you waiting for there is really no need for you to stay at home especially if you're in a kind of place where this business will move for you why don't you consider making shopping bags the next thing we're gonna do now is to apply add the handle of the bag so this is one way you can add the handle this is one handle you can add if not you can get other handles from the shops or from the market and then you know use those type of handle there are different types of handle you just choose the one you like so i'm gonna cut out like two inches height now and three, nine inches width from the excess part of the of our paper our thick paper then i'm gonna use it to hold the handle just like i'm doing right now okay so i'm making the measurements so that everything the measurements i will get the accurate measurements okay so remember what i use here is two inches height and nine inches width now you apply gum generously generously very very generously so that the gum the glue we hold it very well so after applying the glue the next thing you're going to do you now uh, take your the handle of the bag and then place it on top just like i'm doing right now you place it on top and apply glue again so every it must you must hold it tight so it doesn't need to fall off so after applying the glue the same thing you did in this one that's exactly what i'm going to do in the other handle so after applying the glue very well then you place it on the bag okay just like i'm doing right now so follow us you know follow us subscribe to my channel share this video wide like my channel make your comments on any kind of handle you want you know for your for your bag so if we can you can see it we use the handle for you or any other contribution you want to make on this video or if you have any question why don't you make your put your comment below in the comment section wow voila here comes our bag so the next thing we're going to do now is to put another metal strong metal there something heavy to help the thing glue up together you do it for like 30 minutes allow it to dry up and hold together then you lift the metal or whatever you use voila here comes our bag our shopping bag what are you waiting for to turn this into a lucrative business there is no need for you to stay at home with my course you can learn how to brand your product with this video you can learn how to make bag shopping bag so what are you waiting for if this is suitable for you if you love this then give this video a thumbs thumbs up like my video share it wide thank you for watching my video